an inspirational story of two brothers. Yes, today we'll talk about an inspirational story of two brothers. I'm Dr. Hassan Tohid. Stay tuned and we will talk about the story. Before we begin, press the subscribe button and click on this bell icon so you get the notification for my videos every time. Welcome back. The story is of two brothers, two Canadian brothers. I read this story many times, heard this many times as well, but I wish everyone had heard this many times. And that's why I'm creating this video so that this message is spread and you also learn this so the story is of two brothers two canadian brothers one was the vice president or the president of uh, one of the greatest banks in canada while the other one was in prison he was a criminal so there was a news reporter or a researcher he wanted to study these two brothers why one brother is successful why the other brother is not successful so he goes he goes to the brother who was in prison. Now he meets with this man and he says, the reporter asks him, why are you in prison? Why are you not successful in your life? The guy said, because of my father. He said, what about your father? He said, my father was an addict and he was a criminal. He used to beat up my mom. We had an abusive childhood. What do you expect me to do? I learned everything from him. I'm just like him. He was my inspiration. I learned from him. So I'm here. That's why I'm here. So the reporter said, okay. So he got the answer. Now the reporter found the other brother. He set up an appointment with the other brother who was doing everything right in his life. He was a successful person. He was uh, the president of the bank. And now the reporter asks him, what made you successful? Why are you so successful? Who is your inspiration? This successful brother replied, my father. My father is my inspiration. Now this reporter was astonished. He said, what about your father? He said, my father was an addict. He used to beat up my mom. He was an abusive father. We had everything wrong in our house. And when I was a kid, I was growing up in that disturbed family. I decided that I will never be like my father. And I take, I decided not to be like my father and here I am, I'm successful in my life and I'm doing exactly opposite of what he did and today my life is wonderful. So here we see two brothers getting motivation from the same person. One using it for negativity, the other person is using it for positivity. So what do we learn from this story? We learn from this story is it doesn't matter where we come from. What matters is where we are going. It does not matter where we are coming from. What matters is where we are going. If you have negativity around, if you have people around with all sorts of bad habits, but you are determined and you decide that, no, I don't want to be like that person. I will be a different person. I will be a better person. You can be a better person. You can use that negativity as a motivation to become positive. You turn your weaknesses into your strength, just like the other brother who was doing everything right, he did. He turned the weaknesses into his strength, that he became successful. He used that negativity as a motivation. But unfortunately, many of us, we use that negativity as a reason to become unsuccessful and to do wrong things again and again in our lives. And we keep blaming other people. No, we should not keep blaming other people. We should take absolute responsibility of our lives. And we should learn from bad people. And we should also learn from good people. And we should decide to become a good person. And yes, we can do it. In one of my counseling sessions, one of my patients once asked me that I decided that I will never be like my mom. She was an addict. She was a criminal. and But I ended up like her. So... This story doesn't fit. I was telling the exact same story. So I told him, don't blame your mother. Don't blame your gene. Here I'm, I'm talking about two brothers. 
One use it for positivity, the other one use it for negativity. And there are so many other cases. So many people, some use it for positivity, some use it for negativity. Don't blame your mother, don't blame your gene, don't blame the system, blame yourself. If you take absolute responsibility, you will be a different person. And I have the same message for you today. Take absolute responsibility of your life. Stop blaming. If you have negativity around, doesn't matter. If you have positivity around, it's good, but it doesn't matter. If you decide to become a better person, you take decision, you take responsibility, and you strive to become a good person, you will become a great person, and you will achieve whatever you want to achieve. Thank you. We'll meet in the next video. Before you leave, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you.